gentlemen, a very warm welcome. We're live here in Manchester. This is the main event, the fight of the night. Barry Hearn for Matram Sport in association with Tommy Gilmore, MBE. Present for your entertainment, 12 rounds of boxing for the vacant British Light Waterweight Championship and the coveted Lonsdale Bay. Sponsored here by HardyPoker.com, the world's largest poker room. And live and exclusive here on Sky Sports, here Friday Fight Night. All the officials appointed by the British Boxing Board of Control. General Secretary Simon Block has appointed steward in charge Jeff Bolter, timekeeper Gary Grennan, and our three scoring judges. Phil Edwards of Preston, Dave Paris of Leeds, and Mickey Van of Leeds. The referee in charge of the action from Doncaster is Mr. Howard Foster. They are the officials, and here are the contestants. Firstly, and introducing to you, fighting out of the blue corner. He's wearing the blue trunks trimmed with white and weighed in at nine stone and 12 pounds with a 25 fight record. 23 wins, 11 inside the scheduled distance and only two defeats from Brixton, South London. Here, dangerous, Ted Bambi. And ladies and gentlemen, Fighting out of the red corner, yeah. wearing the cross of St. George, the white trunks with red trim. Weighing in at nine stone, 39 for the pounds, a 24 fight record, 22 wins, 11 inside the schedule distance, just a one loss and one draw. He is from Manchester. for the vacant British Light Waterweight Championship and the coveted Lonsdale Belt. Spoke to you both in the dressing room, you both know what I expect. Keep it clean, break straight away when told. Both you watch your heads. Good luck to you both, touch gloves. Good luck, lads. Fascinating, intriguing 50-50 matchup here. For the British light welterweight title, 49 fights, 45 wins, 22 knockouts between them. It's the orthodox puncher, Ted Bammy, Second and the slick southpaw, David Barnes. And we hope for another domestic tussle to savour, if the styles gel, and they should do, Jim. Yeah, they should do, all the ingredients are there. I mean, Barnes uh, looked exceptional just about two and a half, three years ago. So in wonderful form, he had everything going for him. He certainly to go all the way to the top, a couple of poor performances, and his career has stalled since then. But uh, he's going to need confidence here, and it's a, it's a tricky situation he's in. This is the first time he's been at the weight, and it's a championship fight. He's just picked a nice left hand there. This has been off the boil of late. Same could be said about Bami too. So time out of the ring. Both will need to settle quickly. Barnes very wary of Bammy's quick starts. Tries to get you out of a rhythm, doesn't he, Bammy? And that's key here. Yeah, he uses his own strength, doesn't allow you to box to yours, but he's been clipped by a couple of neat looking left hands already, not an awful lot of power. But uh, Barnes has picked them nicely, and his own defences are fairly sound. Acting to box on the move, David Barnes. Watch Rendell Monroe's wonderful performance the Southpaw last week on Friday Fight Night, taking the European Super Bantamweight title. A performance like that from Barnes against the come forward Bami will be very useful. pleased by the fact that he's getting close to Barnes, he hasn't landed anything yet, but he's been able to pin him down, been able to get his feet close, 
Uh, Barnes has landed the, the, probably two or three little accurate punches that have been landed. There goes that left hand again. But I don't think Barney will be too upset with the fact he's getting his feet close. And he'll feel pretty soon his punches will be coming off. There we go. Bringing out the jab, looking for the left hand. David Barnes. Well, those were meaningful punches from Bami, and uh, Barnes uh, didn't like them too much. Strong and rugged and rough and tough, Bami. Needs to impose himself on Barnes, who mentally might have to ask himself a couple of questions along the way. Psychologically, it's an interesting one. I mean, it's only early days when the opening round, but uh, Barnes pretty soon is going to have to put a bit more snap, a bit more devil into these fights. He's stealing the opening round, which will maybe give him that little bit of confidence that uh, maybe his pre-fight chat suggests that he needs. Bami can be sluggish. The speed you feel with Barnes, the boxing ability. He's going to have to work hard. Nick the first round, probably. finance over three years and only 10% deposit on the McGann Hatch and Sport Hatch. The corners are going to be very important tonight. The amiable Bob Shannon, the amiable James Cook for Ted Bammy. Tactics, battle plans. It's one of those. A strategic affair for the vacant British like welterweight crown. The St. George Cross and the white skirt as always for Barnes. And the blue and white preferred by Bammy. Barnes is the one holding up close there. Head's, head's got go. close, there could be a cut here that... There is, David Barnes's left eye. Cut, second round. Yeah, the heads came together right at the, the start of the round here. Remember under British rules, the cut finishes the fight. Doesn't go to the cards. Well, we have three judges at ringside. Should it go the distance? David Barnes did not need that. Well, it's back up a little bit, Adam, because he's putting that, that spite into the punches that was required. So, maybe that's what's required, just to fire him up. Stepping in with the punches now, still counter-punching, but stepping in with those counters. It's fired the fighters up, it's fired the crowd up too. Intense, close atmosphere here at the George Carnell Centre in Manchester. Real trade fight, got people talking, everybody's got their opinion. Barney struggling to pin Barnes down, his movement's good. He's popping the punches out, making full use of the, the south pod jab just to keep Barney off balance. He's not using the jab as a weapon, the left hand is his main weapon. He's just keeping the, the south paw jab in Bami's face just to, to keep him off balance, stop him setting anything up. There it is again. Good left from David Barnes, partially blocked by Bami. He's right on his feet. The Manchester fighter trying to roll back the years and remind us of what he did to the likes of Kevin McIntyre and James Hare. I think the main thing for Bami in the early rounds is not to waste energy, missing badly. He's just going to have to be patient because Barnes has started quickly. He's very elusive and his defences are tight, as you can see here. Didn't let anything through there. Yeah, kept his guard well. Bami just trying to walk him down. Could come down to fitness. Who's prepared better? Yeah, well, I would say Bami, until his punches start landing cleanly, just wants to pace himself. 
mean, he's won out of steam a couple of times in fights, Bami, or either that or he loses interest. Can't afford to do that tonight. Yeah, he did in the middle rounds of his last appearance against Nikola Gise. Didn't impress ringsiders that night. Good left to end the second when Barnes is capped. Quite a nasty slice. Yeah, but it's happened right at the start of the round. The heads came together purely unintentional, but uh, really bad luck. I mean, there has been some messy action. Barnes has been clutching a little bit up close, and the heads came together. Really unfortunate. Hopefully, it hasn't changed his game plan. A couple of times the heads have come together, but uh, no question, that's the one that caused the cut. Unfortunate for David Barnes, but he's going to have to try and stick with whatever plan they took into the, the ring here. It's not a cut that would right, stop the fight, this but uh, it could change, change tactics. Going, right? Don't want to play on his mind. The old round demons. Round three. Here's a third round, 25th appearance for David Barnes. Just turned 27, still got time to rebuild that once so promising career. Ted Bammy, who's been difficult to match over the years, a real danger man, he needs to come back too. That left looks sharp from Barnes tonight. Yeah, that's his main weapon, he, he's just waving the jab in front of Bammy. Just to, to confuse him with it, then putting out the left. I have him stealing a couple of opening rounds. Probably in the opening round, Bami landed the more hurtful punches, but not enough of them. So he's the one who has to change things here. Both fairly tight, though, opening two. Patch the cut up well, above the left eye of Barnes. Trying to get his jab going. The elusive style. Good work from Barnes. See, Bambi's winding up big punches, and against a KG Southpaw, you have to be putting punches out in, in bunches, threes and fours. Single shots, uh, Barnes can deal with those all night long. He's dropped his hands there, Ted Bambi. Had a really good start against Giuseppe Larry when he came in. Had a couple of weeks' notice to win the European title. Defended it against Larry in a poor second meeting. But he can fade, can run out of ideas. Barnes is boxing well. There's still a nervousness about his boxing, but that's probably adding to the sharpness of his reflexes. And the left hand is working a treat. Bami cannot get close. Com taking far too long to get the punches off. Complicated, intense character, David Barnes. Difficult to read. Heads clash again. Oh, good punch on the counter from David Barnes. His timing looks decent. Yeah, but Barmy is far too predictable. I mean, we can see from here what he's trying to do. He's trying to wind up big right hands. They say that's the answer for the southpaw. I used to be a southpaw, and I remember left hooks giving me more problems. Charges in again, Bammy. Not particularly cultured or educational. No, he's the aggressor, but it's not really effective aggression. He's getting close, but the sharpness of Barnes is not allowing him to do anything when he gets here. Ah, uh, Barnes stealing another one. He has the potential. This could be his year, but he must beat the best to become a master. Season of Masters Tennis starts tomorrow, 6 p.m. Sky Sports Extra. Follow the biggest names as they go head to head in the ATP Masters Series, live only on Sky Sports. 
Friday Fire Night back in a fortnight's time. Chris Edwards defends his British Super Flyweight title against Andy Bell. Also that night, world-class action from the States. So Paul Casamayor faces the exciting lightweight Michael Castillas. That's Friday, March 28, 9.30, Sky Sports 1. Good start from David Barnes. Vacant British 10-stone belt on the line. And Ted Bammy, he's uh, looked a bit clumsy coming in. He's got to be a bit smarter probably with Barnes. Maybe he thinks he can take him into the deep waters. Yeah, he's just a little bit too predictable there. Uh, Barnes is clutching a little bit up close. But uh, Bammy's allowing that to happen because he's taking too long to get the punches off. Barnes is really boxing well at the moment. Smoothness in his boxing now, not quite the, the jerky stuff we saw in the opening round. So maybe finding that confidence. Absolutely. Combinations beginning to flow from David Barnes. The self-belief coming back into his work. We haven't seen it for a long while. That defeat to uh, Joshua O'Kine, a real confidence then. Also, Ali Mbembe, the draw, just a sticky patch in his career, but he promised he'd come back. He said he was better than that. Well, I'm not saying he's uh, reproducing the form that we saw uh, three years ago or so. Not the same confidence there uh, in his boxing. I mean, he's really on the back foot here, but uh, fair enough, it's been effective. But uh, Bam is just a little bit too predictable. And not yet causing any problems that Barnes can't deal with. Just can't get his jab going, Ted Bammy. Been befuddled, outfoxed. So he's winding up the right hands, and we can see from here what's coming. So a cutie like David Barnes is he's going to know for sure what's on its way. Far too predictable. Needs a bit more imagination. Good right from Barnes. Good body shot too. He's the better amateur. Has the technical skills. And he's uh, boxing with some buoyancy here. The self force style and the speed giving Bami trouble. Yeah, but the strange thing is it's the straight left cross is the most accurate punch coming from the, the South Paul Barnes. It's not the jab. It's giving him the trouble. He's popping a lovely left hand here. It just that one uh, didn't find the target that so many have. Bammy swinging. James Cook nods his approval in the corner. Well, at least Bammy's tried to impose himself a little bit on this on his opponent this round. See, Barnes has been spoiling a fair amount up close, which you can't blame him for. So maybe eventually referee, maybe referee Foster just maybe beginning to pull him on that. Just shook his right hand there as well. David Barnes has had some problems in that department with injuries in the past. Bammy just edging closer and a bit more effective at the end of that one. Welcome to Beverly Hills, home of the rich and famous. Just look at the beautiful cars. It's okay for today. They're gone. The Renault Clio, an exterior sign of inner richness. Now appearing on a street near you. The Renault Clio, from £99 per month with no deposit. Typical 9.4% APR. Long you caught. It's a nice strike. Boxing move, Dave. Two beautiful. corners. Move work don't, don't with their charges. You're getting your range David though. Barnes, head punches. Impressive. Your range, but don't back yourself up in the corner. Yeah. You don't Ten need to. Corners. Yeah, well, buy me a bit more work in that round, a bit more success. Seven Probably down. his best round of the fight so far. It still hasn't anything like come this around. Here's the fifth. 42nd in the career of David Barnes, 130th for Ted Bammy. Got plenty of power in that ring, but they're slightly wary of each other, especially Barnes early. Didn't want to get caught. Bammy wouldn't have wanted Barnes to get into a rhythm. Oh no, David, let him go. Come well, Bammy has to be prepared to take punches, to stand in there and exchange. 
he's been outboxed, so he has to find a way of making Bams exchange punches, and that's what he's trying to do now. Much more urgency than Bam is boxing now. He's not going to do it clean and tidy. He's going to have to, to draw him into more of a brawl. Yeah, targeting the body there, Bammy in that last burst. I think endurance in the latter half of this fight could be key, could be crucial. Dangerous with the head, he's going to be pulled yeah. up for that. He was rubbing the head and it wasn't it wasn't a butt, but it was rubbing it in. Yep, Howard Foster straight on the case. Barnes already cut by the left eye in the second round from a head clash. They patch that up and he's got back to his boxing. Lovely skills and speed from Barnes. Yeah, again, Bami being outboxed, far too predictable as he comes forward. He's trying to do it the hard way. He's not thinking what he's doing. Bam's looking quite smooth and comfortable at the moment. Oh, lovely shots from David Barnes. Very accurate. No head movement from Bami. The time may have come for Barnes to step in with some power in that left hand. He's landing it bang on target, landing it beautifully. So maybe with a bit more power in the shots, could get a result here. I mean, remember, Barney has been vulnerable a few times in his career. He's not rock solid in the chin department, so a bit more power in those shots. Who knows, David Barnes could get a result. Yep, Bami was knocked out in three rounds by Samuel Malinga and early on in his career by the Polish fighter Jakic Bielski he has been in trouble and he has been shaken a couple of times that's what I was about to say so Barnes is finding the target he's finding the, the time to get the punches off maybe step in with a bit more snap in them sharp shooting Barnes Energy sapping as well as Barry just keeps on coming and plodding forward. Lovely left from Barnes, who's boxing maybe the best he has in years. This is great from David Barnes. and finance over three years and only 10% deposit on the McGann Hatch and Sport Hatch. Step back half the step on uppercut. He's wide open for the uppercut on the inside. Yeah, and uppercut through the middle. Just, all you've got to do is coming for you. So you just the very you. content corner. Bob Shannon leading it. Yeah, but all the punches that you remember at the end of the rounds have come from David Barnes. The pressure from Barmy, but not really effective pressure. Abby Morris also in the corner lost his British featherweight title fairly recently. They had another defeat with Kevin Anderson losing to Kevin McIntyre a few weeks back. That might have affected David Barnes. He sparred with Anderson, but tonight he looks right on top. In front of the home crowd. Boxing well. What can Bami do? Has he got another game plan? Has to show a little bit more imagination. He's far too predictable. He's trying to wind up single punches. I mean, he's facing a KG Southpaw who he can't pin down. And he's doing the same things here. But we are working in the opening round. Time to come up with something else. They're just plodding forward, hoping for one big punch to turn things around. Dimensional performance so far from Ted Bammy. Can he conjure up anything else? Otherwise, there's going to be no somersault flips at the end of celebration for the Brixton Barber. Wonderful. Yeah, lovely left hand again, and he nice to punch all the way through. It's not been the southpaw jab that's caused all the problem for Bammy. It's that well tight left cross. I think the nerves beforehand were a good sign. 
Barnes is accurate. He is firing. And he does believe he can be a champion again. Well, I still feel it's time to start stepping forward with that left hand and try to knock uh, Bami back with it. I mean, he's landing it perfectly on the target. Seldom misses with it. Time maybe to try to do some damage with it as well. He's got his mind on the job this time, David Barnes. He's been AWOL in the past, had trouble with the army, split with Brian Hughes, his mentor. Not a spell with Anthony Farnell, now settled with Bob Shannon, but he's caught oh, he's just there. Out. Cheeky shot from Bammy, needs to be careful. Barnes is spoiling well up close to him, and Bammy does get in. Bammy's coming too close to him, and he's what's been spoiled. This is a good little bust from Bammy here. Determined sort too, Ted Bammy. Trained very hard for this. Well, that was a strict warning from Howard Foster to Ted Bammy about the head again. Picked off two beautiful punches from Barnes again. There's that head again, although I think uh, Barnes exaggerated the impact a little bit. I think maybe a little bit of play acting from David Barnes there. Good first half to the sixth from Barnes. Bammy's come back. Vacant British like welterweight title on the line, and it was given up by Colin Lyons, who's gone on to bigger and better things. European champion, he's with Ed Robinson. Well, Colin, has David Barnes got his tactics spot on this evening? He definitely has, Ed. Uh, he's definitely stealing the rounds with his counter punching. Teddy's stalking him down, which is what I expected Ted to do, but once he gets him where he wants him, he's not getting three or four punches together. Unfortunately, Teddy's looking for the big bomb, but David Barnes has got to stay focused because one of them bombs connects later on in the rounds. You know, it, it's anyone's fight. So Barnes needs to keep his focus, and Ted needs to keep working, keep stalking him down. But please get three or four punches in there, not just the one big bomb. You think Bammy needs to show more urgency? The problem is he's walking onto the left, isn't he? He does, but by the looks of it, as the rounds are ticking by, he's sort of getting desperate and he's charging in. He's still got to keep his composure as he comes in. Instead of just recklessly charging in, he needs to still stalk him, but intelligently. Thanks, Colin. One of the real success stories of the last 15 months or so, Colin Lyons, Second ranked about down. four Round in seven. Britain. Ricky Hatton, number one, of course, up in the studio. They're here to see this match. It's got people talking. Ted Bammy, probably fifth in the country, and David Barnes, tenth. But Barnes is getting the better of things. Well, I think it's caution to the wind time for Ted Bammy. He's not going to outbox Barnes. I think everybody's agreed to that fact. So he's going to have to just get some punches off. It can be crude, but it's going to have to be effective. He's still trying to wind up one single shot, just as Colin Lines was saying, as he's been doing all the way through, trying to turn it around with a single shot. And against a cute southpaw, this is what you're going to get. Lovely right from David Barnes. Just wobble Bammy momentarily, starting to dig a bit more here. You well, have to remember, Barnes has spent his whole career facing welterweights and he was hurting welterweights so there's no reason he can't be stepping in with the punches and hurting Ted Barney who's been hurt before so maybe just a bit more positive approach from Barnes he could maybe start taking charge in this fight instead of doing it off the back foot although it's been effective I think the team were worried about the Bami charge early now he's survived that is he going to get more meat into these punches, David Barnes? Because he's hitting the target. He's got the accuracy. And Bami looks so open at times. I mean, Bami at times looks as though he's forgetting everything he's ever been taught about boxing. And he's just so crude and predictable. I mean, this is a former European champion. He's not boxing like a nice uppercut from Barnes. I mean, the action's a bit messy here. But still, Barnes not taking anything cleanly. He's beginning to flip Ted Bammy, who hasn't used a jab at all tonight. I mean, he wasn't a bad amateur with the Fitzroy Lodge Club in London. Yeah, there's just panic in his boxing now, I think. A time when he needed a bit more thought, a bit more method. I think there's just panic that's setting in. So far, Barnes looks very strong at the weight. Punching with authority. 
and outsmarting Ted Bami. I mean, Bami is really putting so much into this, but he's missing so much, no accuracy. And just the clipping little punches. The fans keeps coming back with us, the fans exaggerating the problems of, with Bami's head again. And as Bami rushes in, those counters could double the effect, unless he gets his gloves up. Right, Sebak! Well, fear of spoiling from Barnes now. Fabulous Friday fight night. Fans are loving this. David Barnes, we think winning quite handily. Plenty ahead. We need to enjoy the remainder of the evening. Young Mutley, he's still got a big part to play in the uh, British picture pack of welterweight up against Kevin Proceed from the West Indies and John Donnelly, the young super bantamweight hope from Liverpool up against the very tough and determined Tony McQuaid. Good action. This one is by no means over yet, but impressive statistics on the right side there. Yeah, there was so much aggression, so much effort from Bami, but uh, just nothing really effective. Look at the miss, he's missing badly in every round, just signs of total frustration in every round, just can't turn Barnes down. Round eight. David Barnes won the British welterweight title, albeit a little bit controversially, in the summer of 2003. Just the round where he defended that against Kevin McIntyre. Is he going to start putting the pedal down as Bami lunges in? I mean, Bami is still physically very strong, which is probably the main reason Barnes doesn't want to start coming forward. And maybe the fact that he feels what he's doing is working anyway, don't change it. I feel he has the power to hurt Bami. I think you're right, he's punch-picking, and I think he is. Just getting through now. Bami's chin, will it stand up? And the left hand working a cheat again from Barnes. I mean, it hasn't failed him all night long. Concentration's been good too. Hasn't mentally folded at any time. Yeah, and I think the fact that he was very nervous beforehand, that obviously helps the concentration. He knows one mistake, it could be all over. Not quite as quick, maybe, as he once was, David Barnes. But the speed is still troubling Bami. Courageously, the Brixton man comes on strong. A couple of good body shots from Bami there. I don't know if that's a switch in tactics. He's got to do something different, Jim. Yeah, well, he's trying to shorten the punches when he's up close now. A big gulp of air from Bami there. Is Barnes with his 10 stone weight, probably about 10 10 on the night, rehydrated very well. Good left, crisp, clinical. Bammy walks straight into that. Not quite so much work from Barnes in this round. These are times when he could be stepping forward with that left hand. I mean, he never misses with it. Just step forward with it now and again. Just test out Barney's chin. See if he has the power to hurt him. Oh, lovely shot, though, from David Barnes. Backed up in the neutral corner. Barney beckons it in, but I think that's a bad sign. Spirited Ted Bundy, but nothing much is going right against a rejuvenated and refreshed David Barnes. Yeah, and everything Bundy has done has been forced, so signs are he's running out of steam here. The new, the new British champion. Good guys, Dave. Good guys. Let me see. Let's see. Let's Different see class, David. Come on, beautiful. Shut to that. Listen, listen. No fool in this fight. Okay, I'm just kidding you to this fight. You understand me? Breathe up, Ted, breathe up. Okay. Suck it up. 
Stop it up, stop it up. I mean, you're not seeing what's going on. You're seeing the punches, then but then the time you see, he's taking his shot, right? And he's getting you every time. Total contrast in the corners now. Yep, not a half a corner over in uh, Abami's direction because he's doing everything. Everything is predictable, everything is forced. What he was doing in the open round didn't work for some reason. He stuck with it and just and tried hard at what he was doing. Keep tight. Barnes really boxing tight, well all the way through. You listen right. Let's go. Come on now. Come on. From Shannon, just wants to make sure he's listening. Concentration must be kept intact. They're saying different class. They're saying in the new, but there's four rounds to go, and he's got to stick to the job. Done brilliantly so far, though, hasn't he, Barnes? He certainly has, man. I think the problem for Bami, everything he's done has been forced. So he's using more steam. When things are coming smoothly, he likes the pace better. Well, nothing has been smooth for Bami. Forced, winding up, big shots, missing arms and shoulders, nothing clean. So he must now start looking for the knockout. Nothing else is going to get him out of trouble here. Got out of trouble when he knocked out Bradley Price. That was a low punch. Meeting. That was low. Howard Foster might have a word, but doesn't. So Bami's still dangerous. Surely Barnes won't let him off the hook now. And listen to this crowd, Jim, as well, getting behind him again. Well, they're happy. They like what they're seeing. Barnes is actually trying to come forward now. And I think it would be so much more effective if he stepped towards Bami. Because it looks to me like he has the power to trouble him. Bami closes the quarters again. Maybe Barnes just doesn't want to risk it. A touch of safety first. And you probably can't blame him for that. Well, when things are going so well, and especially in a title fight, obviously, the main thing is the results. You don't want to change it. we've seen tonight has come from David Barnes it's been a struggle a couple of rounds maybe on effort yeah, you could have felt uh, to, to lean towards Barney but never really has he taken a grip of things never has he taken charge he's always struggled with the style of Barnes both holding they must be getting tired. It's been some pace. Five low key wins for David Barnes. Just Joshua O'Kane. He's needed this sort of challenge to get him up. Planting his feet. Flicking out the jab. Lots of jab from Bami. Close round. Prestigious title. This 10 stone domestic belt. Nice and easy. Back in 76, 77. Dave Boyd Green. Went on to fight Sugar Ray Lennon and Carlos Palomino, of course. Vincent McKenzie from 78 to 89. Part of that terrific South London fighting family. You let him in a bit in that round then. Terry Marsh. Retired unbeaten. Became the IBF world champion from Basildon. The Black Flash, Pat Barrett, who's here tonight, one of the biggest punches produced by England, matched the favourite. Okay. Yeah, of course, Andy Holligan, two-time British champ, fought the great Julio Cesar Chavez. You always tell his grandkids that. Ricky Hatton, here tonight, maybe the best ever holder of this title. And Junior Witter, current WBC world champion. He's done ever so well as well, Witter. Terrific 10 stone division over the years and now. Yeah, it is a real competitive division at the moment. So the winner tonight uh, can go anywhere down the list and we'll see a competitive match. Are there any more 
tricks. Ted Banner can try. He looks frustrated. James Cook's body language is not good in that blue corner. He's giving it everything. He's not technically good enough tonight, Jim. That's the big problem. I don't know if what plan they come in with. But uh, you can't wind up big right hands and throw single punches uh, to a KG Southall, and that's what he's been trying. He hasn't changed it, he's trying to manhandle Barnes now. They might have thought that they would break David Barnes mentally, that he'd unravel. Not a sign of that. More confidence now. He's being urged in, David Barnes. Yeah, well, his corner are waving them forward, and I've been saying for the last two rounds, it's worth a try, get the chin down, the hands up, and start marching forward, get a bit more snap into the punches. Barmy is looking very tired, so he can't muster the same power that he was capable of. Nothing panicky about Barnes's performance. Sensible operation. Can't afford to lose this. Breaks the back. Bami never lost his European title in the ring. Maybe he could come again. But for Barnes, I think they knew beforehand, Jim, lose this and there's no real way back. Yeah, I think so. I mean, the, the surprising thing for me is the fact that Bami hasn't ever looked like European title class with his approach, with his act. You know, his lack of boxing skills tonight, he's been so predictable, he's ever in the hand and he's picked off again. Quick shots from David Barnes. I'm sure Ricky Hatton up in the studio is proud of David Barnes. He once said to me he was the most talented junior amateur that he ever saw. Well, certainly no shortage of skill there. I mean, uh, bursting with talent, now he's finding his confidence and we're seeing that talent put to good use. Won a Lonsdale belt outright at 10 stone 7. But we think he'd become the first fighter to go down and win a British 10 stone belt. Not sure anyone else that's done that. And he's still looking fit and strong. Barnes, one of the big questions, would he be strong at 10 stone? No signs of any problems coming from him. Frustration from six Ted minutes of Bami. the How do you feel, Dave? And there is. All right. yeah. Listen, Dave. So much more still Bami. ahead for you to Bami. enjoy, as well as this British title fight. You've Young Mutley back. We hope with a bang against well, Kevin Placide, John Bam Donnelly, Bam Tony McQuaid. Good Bam match, Bam that, Bam in the eight stone ten division. Let's listen to Bob Shannon. Barnes has thrown so many, he's landed over double. I mean, they don't lie, these stats. No, Ben, it just shows that Barmy has lacked accuracy all the way through. A couple of rounds you could have swayed towards him just on sheer pressure and what rate. But I still feel in every round, Barnes is the one producing the boxing, the clean cut boxing. And that's reflected in my scorecard. I've given Barmy a share of a couple of rounds, so even if you give him those rounds, Barnes is still comfortably in front. Phil Edwards, Dave Paris and Mickey Van just in front of us. I'm sure we'll have similar cards. It's been much more one-sided than those odds at the beginning. Well, the fact that Barmy has always been coming forward, always pressing the action. I mean, in close rounds, sometimes it can sway you towards, you know, giving him the benefit of the doubt, but I just feel he's never had any accuracy in his punching. He's been walking on to the left hand all the way through, just as he's doing now. You have determined Ted Bammy, but not skillful enough to defuse David Barnes, who's firing again. Everything forced from Barmy, no rhythm, nothing. Timing off, technique a mile off. Now James Cook is always looking for rhythm in his training sessions. Barmy just hasn't had that disjointed, clumsy performance. And a 
you said, you know, he won the European title against a, a decent competitor in Giuseppe Lauri. He came in maybe with more experience at a higher level. Well, this is the best little spell we've seen from him. Digging the shots in now. So now he knows, or he must know, a knockout is required. These are good, solid punches from Bami. Produced a few knockouts when it's mattered, but nothing since February 2006. Good shot from Barnes. Where's that uppercut nicely? Barnes trying to, sorry, Barney trying to dig some body shots in, but Barnes is so good up close, it's spoiling, just stopping. Stopping him from doing anything effective. Legs moving well. Hats off to Bob Shannon and the team. Running snake pass and the like. Rededicated himself, David Barnes, after his problems. And showing glimpses of what got everybody so excited about a few years ago. around to Bami pinch it he needs more than that surely you want this is now or never son you need that never do fucking need a punch to win a fight use the language right. just not he's crowd you he grab you he crowd you he grab you okay he's chubbing you all over the place you've got no balance all right if you ever need it you have to find it now you understand and just straight punches dave on your toes and look at that jab through the middle just straight punches nothing else don't let it get on the rope turn him you're too skillful right you need to be a champion if you do it what does that mean to him Straight. When you reach there, you've got to find the shot, okay? When you roll, you come up, he bloody hit. Don't come up, hit it from down there. You understand me? Okay? Let's have it, Dave. Cracking insight there. David Barnes says it means more to me than anything in the world. These three minutes, Bammy needs the knockout. We're sure of that. And David Barnes just needs to keep his boxing together. And he will have come back in some style, Jim. Yeah, well, I think Bami's corner, uh, James Cook summed it up perfectly. If he needed a big punch to win a fight, it's now. He says he's been catching you and grabbing you, and that's what he's been doing, getting his own punches off and not allowing Bami to come back with anything. The tactics have been perfect. Not always pretty, maybe, but very, very effective. 11 knockouts, Bami in his 23 wins. Remember this, the round that David Barnes finally succumbed to Joshua O'Kine. But he was being outboxed pretty much all the way through that. Barnes didn't turn up that night, and he has tonight. He's not going to let this slip, Jim, surely. No, and there's, there's more confidence now uh, in the last round. Now he's the confidence of knowing. Remember, he came in here never having boxed at 10 stone before. So, deserves even more credit when you consider that. If you take into account the lack of uh, title action David Barnes has had and the critics and the difficulties out of the ring. I think it's a credit to him and his team that he's come back and performed when it matters. Yeah, I mean, he's getting the result. I'm not saying he's back to his best, maybe not even anything like it. I mean, there's not the same authority in his boxing as we saw two or three years ago, but he's been through a shaky time. He's confident in his rebuilding. And this is the kind of night that can go a long way to do that. And he's the type of fighter who will look back at this and his confidence will grow again. I agree, I don't think he is quite what he was, but he's been good tonight. The talent is obviously still there, it's the confidence, but this will bring the confidence back. But the Bami doesn't really look like a man whose life depends on landing a big shot in this last round. He still can't get into range. It's not the urgency you would expect. 
after the 11 rounds that's gone before. Didn't panic when he was cut in the second round, David Barnes stuck to his game plan, and he's 30 seconds away. A bit like last week in Nottingham, when that final bell goes, this place will erupt. Well, it actually looks as though Ted Barney has settled for defeat because we're in the last half minute and we're seeing a bit of urgency, but where was it? The full three minutes of the 12th round with his own corner, I've told him. He's losing. Razzle dazzle from David Barnes to finish what has been at times a beautiful exhibition. The two fighters embrace and surely David Barnes will be a British champion again at light welterweight. Fabulous stuff. Tremendous performance when everything is considered. As I said a few seconds ago, not vintage David Barnes, but tonight a result was required. Title fight, and congratulations to him. He got his tactics right, he stuck with him. He was very nervous, especially in the early rounds. But the longer it went, the more comfortable he was looking. The punches were working, everything he did was working. Quite the opposite, Ted Bammy's boxing, completely outboxed. Bammy's smiling, but you're right. Did he go for it enough? Was he technically good enough? Well, I think Bami went into the ring thinking eventually the strength and power will start taking control and taking effect on David Barnes. But everything he did was forced, everything he did was predictable. And he's been caught, that's the right hook that's catching him here, but all through the fight, straight left, so simple, straight left, there it is, from the South Foss stands, pinned him bang on the chin and kept knocking him off balance. I felt that Barnes had started going forward earlier, who knows, it could have been an even easier night for him. But sticking to the job, getting the result, was what he decided to do. His corner told him to do that. And even in the last round, when Bami definitely needed to knock out his own corner, had told him, wasn't enough urgency. It's as though he'd settled that bad night, I'm going to lose, nothing I can do about it. You can see his face, that tells the story. Judge Phillip was 119-110. Judge Dave Harris, 117-111. Judge Mickey Van, 117-111. All three judges are in favor of the winner from the beautiful city of Manchester, David Barnes. Tears of joy, elation for David Barnes. The British light welterweight champion, he's done it. Congratulations, he boxed terrifically well. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you'd like to show your appreciation. A very game challenger indeed from Brixton, South London, Ted Bammy. Manchester celebrates. We'll be talking to David Barnes in just a couple of moments' time. We'll get the thoughts too of Glenn McCrory and Ricky Hatton. We'll be looking ahead to Ricky Hatton's homecoming here in the city of Manchester Stadium as well. Plus more from a busy night here, including the return of young Muttley and more reaction to David Barnes, the new British light welterweight champion. David Barnes is a two-way British champion, clinches the British light welterweight title, adds that to the welterweight crown he won a few years ago. He is ringside talking to Ed Robinson. Well, David, finally out of the wilderness as a British champion. Was that a vintage Barnes performance? Well, I want the best of Barnes in the first fight back in since December. Just a bit rusty still, but I wasn't blowing him up on that. He's a good fighter. One of them is, is awkward because he's using his head a lot, but it's just live. Did you always feel in control though with your southpaw boxing? Yeah, I just I was in control, but I know I knew it wasn't my best. I just I just trained hard for the fight, but for some reason ring rust yeah, got to me a bit. Yeah. You say it wasn't your best, but do you feel you proved something about your temperament tonight coming through that second round cut? Yeah, I think I did. Didn't bother me a bit one bit. But it's just live. It's boxing for you. Now two-time British champion. 
the man. Trainer Bob Shannon, are you yeah. proud of your man tonight? Oh, I'm so proud of him because I, I've been going through a bad patch, but we put the ice on the cake with David. He, he did everything. We had a clash of heads in the second round, had to deal with a bad cut, yeah. but I dealt with it. And uh, he, he, he was calm, he's calm in the corner, did everything I told him to. Like you say, he's only going to get better now, only going to get better. David, are you looking to the European title and Colin Lines now? Yeah, a few more fights, a bit more warm up fights, and yeah. uh, then bring anyone on. Well, Tommy Gilmore in it now. Well done tonight. Taking a while for it to sink in, isn't it? But uh, David Barnes, the British light welterweight champion. Ricky Hatton is, uh, is a mate of yours.